We're cutting hay today and uh, looks like he drew the short end of the stick. Uh, some days you just win, some days you're Brian. <laughs> tuning in guys you are witnessing the last day of hay cutting of 2021 situation here was there was corn and fence on all sides of this grass and so we just couldn't get to it otherwise we would have had to drive on some corn but we chopped that silage you saw that a few videos back now we're gonna cut this hay flying down the road at 16 mile an hour I think there's about 20 acres so it'll take us about two hours About 18 acres of silage that we chopped. That old stand of alfalfa that we chiseled up, sprayed off last year, planted corn into it. The corn wasn't gonna be very great. And what's crazy is it looks bone dry out here, but last week we got two inches of rain. Better late than never. That's gonna help the pastures. The pastures are already green enough from that stuff. Looks awesome. And then the beans are still really green. So that's gonna help the beans quite a bit. So this slough is right there, runs down quite a ways. Shape drill funky and I'm not sure how we're gonna cut this exactly. I'm gonna go around it six times and then figure out how I'm gonna wanna set my AB line. Get all situated up. Yep. Mint. Thank you to today's sponsor, Canada Dips. CBD infused pouches. No nicotine, no tobacco. People at Canada Dips, they're really proud of their Chosky's as they call them. Chosky's, huh? None of the bad, all the good CBD if you're like me. And you got pain, I got knee pain. You got knee pain, back pain. Maybe a little self-loathing. And you haven't checked these out yet, maybe give them a try. Link down below, you can get 20% off and a free hat. Every time we talk about them on the channel, we get tons of comments that they ordered second round. Tasted amazing for them, helped them out a little bit. Oh, there's a squeeze down in there. Let's see if we can get them. Got some hay. So you can see there's some weeds hanging out in there. Really low spot. Not the best quality stuff, but in the dry year we've been having, we're gonna take all we can get. This usually pumps out some pretty amazing grass because, you know, it gets so wet down in here. To the right here, we got a deep hole. I think the people that owned this before us, and maybe even before the people that owned it before us, they dug a deep hole and they took all that clay and threw it in a feed lot so the cattle, their cattle had a nice mound to hang out at. And every once in a while when we're deer hunting we see one come out of here so we always check on that every year see if we can get a deer plucked out of there. See, we got this poor quality reed canary grass. Got some weeds, there's a sunflower. Leaving a decent windrow back here. Then we got some kern. Some of these are decent sized and, ooh, look at that guy. I uh, honestly don't know how he got that big. That's a nice ear of corn. They're tall. You see these ones that are hanging. They're really drying down. We're gonna be doing wet corn here really soon. There's some moisture down there, but you know, we did get a two incher last week, so there should be. It's nice we don't have to worry about a fire or anything like that, just and that corn. That amazed me how good it looked. There are some pretty thick spots out here, so widen out that windrow. We're into September now. Sometimes those warmer days are hard to come by.
we got one more pass around the field and then we get that sweet sweet auto steer going and just drive it straight lines that's some grinding hay right there if I ever seen some tomorrow I think it'll finally be dry enough we can work those last two groups of cattle there's 35 in each pasture we just got to spread the corral out in one pasture and work them and then move it to the other pasture and work those guys there's 70 total pairs that'll we can have that done by noon tomorrow and all those calves will have their first round of shots dad was in the pasture yesterday one of the ones that we didn't get to yet and he said the flies on them are just terrible but the pastures that we got that four on last week they have just a handful or less of flies get that under control so they don't have to be bothered by all those hundreds and maybe even thousands of flies driving through the countryside there's quite a bit of silage taken out over south of Sioux Falls I saw some terrible damage I know the Lennox I think it's the Lennox high school got beat to crap the roof caved in somewhere and they had some bad weather a couple weeks ago but there's some knockdown corn crazy like 90 percent laying on the ground it looks like the chopper that went through some of those areas picked it up pretty well but if you have no reason to chop don't have cattle that's it's gonna be slow going for those guys trying to pick it up off the ground you can see from here that corn looks pretty brown i think by the end of this week we're we might be poking the snoots in some kern get some wet corn done putting it in the pit this grass kind of runs along that way so I can I can either set my AB line and just cut back and forth have a bunch of short rows or I could do some long rows but then there might be some really long just like slivers where I'm not getting much I suppose the really long slivers might be a little faster if I did it like that my auto tracks not working again how we put a coat in like a month ago well, yeah, it says uh, auto track activation required, but it looks like dad's here, so maybe he wants to take over, and I'm sure he'll be excited to know that we don't have auto steer. So I was fixing to do these nice long passes, you see, yeah. and then I, I hit the go button on the auto steer, and it said you ain't got none, oh. so... So here we are again without auto steer. So we ain't got none. Yeah. Are you taking over or are you just looking? Are you broke down? No, I just got a free hand. Okay, then I'll take over. <laughs> Sturgis! He had to mow the lawn and now he's got to cut this without auto steer. Poor guy. <laughs> I guess before, ooh, that's quite a bit of corn sitting in there. We're gonna have to get that used up or moved before we start doing wet corn. If we start doing that later this week and then also that pile of ground haze in the way. It'll probably take a good three days since it's been cooler, about 80s and instead of those 90s and even touching hundreds like we'd had all June, July. 
a little bit into August. Wednesday or Thursday, we'll be baling that, hopefully. Tomorrow, Monday, we'll be working some cattle. And then maybe Friday, just maybe, we'll start filling this pit with wet corn. Depends on if we get our combine put back together, because we got, we got, it's kind of getting inspected right now, plus we're putting the feeder house back together. Did you want to say hi to the people? No? It's pretty rude, sorry guys. I guess it's yelling at dad, he's almost out of diesel exhaust fluid. Could have put some in before we started, but since this is the last field we're cutting, I didn't want to just fill our pole and then, you know, have all that def just sitting in there and could have used it in something else. My guess is 57 bales. That'll make our hay crop last a couple more weeks this winter. I'm almost four months, three and a half months out from my knee surgery. We're moving around pretty decent. Actually, a week and a half ago, I jogged for the first time in five months since I hurt myself, and it feels weird. I told my therapist that I feel like Nemo. You know, I'm kind of, instead of swimming in a circle, I'm jogging in a circle because that leg is so much weaker than that one. <laughs> anyway, we're, we've been getting this put back together. Since we got a draper, this plate on the front of the feeder house needed taken off. We brought it to Lancota and Huron and they welded some gussets on it and did some updates. They also sent us a couple pieces underneath here. This one right here, I had to weld that on, spray painted it. Looks all fancy, looks factory, huh, don't it? Yeah? No, don't look too close at those welds. We got that tilt beam put back on. We just gotta get that front last piece back on, slap it up. Our repair guy, he went through the combine getting it ready for harvest we just got to put some stuff back together actually he does after he gets some parts i think like five bearings he's replacing or something like that and then we'll be back going harvest time exciting it's got to be about the shortest video that we've made in over a year thanks for watching hope you enjoyed today's short one i let you off a little early we'll see you next time have a good one oh no ellie did somebody mow over your toy you poor thing Oh, this still works though. She still chases it.